Monday night, the 25th of September. This huh. Monday night, professional wrestling returns to Madison Square Garden. Returning to Madison Square Garden, ladies and gentlemen, will be the man who brings his own brand, professional wrestling to the squared circle, making reference to, of course, the charismatic American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes, looking forward to returning to the garden this Monday and certainly looking forward to locking up with one of the Yukon Lumberjacks, Big Rugged Eric. Meanwhile, Pierre, of equal status in tag team competition, also being, of course, the co-holder of the tag team championship, will face Dino Bravo. And surely we look forward to the confrontation between Chief J. Strongbow and superstar Billy Graham, notwithstanding, of course, the main event. With that in mind, let's bring on one of the principals in this main event this Monday. To my right, Lou Albano, along with Ivan Koloff. Perhaps a frustrated Ivan Koloff in that you gained a victory and you were so close, but you did not win the championship. You do have that opportunity again this Monday, Mr. Koloff. And oh, it'll be there. It'll be there this time, Delta. Don't worry about it. It'll be there this time. We've waited. We've waited. And the time is near. The time is here. Now we're going to prove. Now we're telling Ivan. Now we're going to prove. You know, prove. I'm not only frustrated, McMahon. You know, I'm awful angry. You know, I, I do believe that rules must be obeyed in the ring. In any sport, you must have rules and they must be stuck to. I never, I never have to break the rules to gain victory. And whenever you have a person bleeding in the ring, okay, yes, you have to stop it at some time. But I cannot understand why they stopped this match. The man was still standing up. He was still willing to go. Uh, at least he showed this. I don't know what he was whispering over to his manager or not. They threw in the towel anyway. This is the way it ended up. The towel was not thrown in, Mr. Well, Cole. whatever you call it, they quit. They had the referee ring the bell. The doctor looked at it. The doctor went that back and sat down, and they continued the match again. Then the referee stopped the match after that. What happened? Did the backers complain? Did he say, referee, please stop the match? I've had enough. I give up. The man is hurting me. He's going to end my career. Is this what you said, Backlund? Well, I'm going to tell you. September 25th will be a date that will go down in history. Madison Square Garden, Ivan Koloff, defeats Bobby Backlund and takes away the title and puts him out of wrestling for good. Everybody will cheer. Smart! Oh, smart! Smart! Ivan Koloff looking forward to this return match and certainly looking forward to wearing the championship belt around his waist once again. At this moment, let's direct our attention to the champion of the World Wide Wrestling Federation. Bob Backlund, did you hear what Ivan Koloff had to say as you were in the waiting room? Yes, he does. Yes, I did. And uh, I guess he's uh, never going to learn that I did not give up, that I did not tell the referee uh, that to throw in the towel or ring the bell because I was bleeding too much. The referee decided to do that. He decided that as his own, on his own judgment, Koloff. I didn't tell him to ring the bell. I didn't decide to uh, throw in the towel. I wanted to continue that match, and I'm going to continue that match right on on the 25th of September in Madison Square Garden. Keep this belt right where it belongs uh, with the people and myself. Thank you very much. So we have on the one side a most determined Ivan Koloff. On the other side, we have an equally determined Worldwide Wrestling Federation champion in Bob Backlund. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on superstar Billy Graham. Superstar Billy Graham facing Chief J. Strongbow in what should prove to be a real romp em, stomp em affair because the superstar justifiably has a bone to pick here because J. Strongbow was not an impartial referee in a previous contest and, and perhaps cost you to lose a match, but then again, perhaps it was a J. Strongbow. Perhaps it was Jesse Rhodes proving his superiority. In any of it, that's it. His superiority is buying a referee to make sure the two of them would gang up because Rhodes in that little black heart of his knows there has never been a day that he can beat the superstar. He had Strongbow not as a referee, but as his tag team partner. Now, Indian boy, squaw man, you'll be back in Paul Huska doing what you do best, keeping house, washing the clothes, things like that. Look at this. But Jay Strongbow, your... superstar Jay Strongbow, made a point last week, perhaps a very valid one, in that you chose not to face Jay Strongbow when, in fact, you had the championship belt. Now, all of a sudden, you're clamoring for it. And perhaps, as Jay Strongbow said before the broadcast, perhaps it'll be you crying once again should he defeat you in Madison Square Garden. 